Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm April and I went ahead and warmed all 25 June 2021 bring back my bar scents. So let's talk about it and I'll let you know what happened. So first up we have blue hyacinth and it's just this really pretty light periwinkle colored wax. So scent appeal on cold for me was about a six and a half and it's out of 10. Um, it's just a really nice fresh air true floral. Um, I went ahead and I warmed two cubes in my master bedroom. Uh, scent appeal on warm was a seven out of 10. It was very pleasant. It was fresh and airy, um, a really nice floral. It wasn't too heavy. It wasn't too strong. It was, it was just very nice and well-rounded. Um, strength and throw for me was about a medium plus. It, it was very long lasting. I would walk into my bedroom and it was just like this nice fresh flower scent. Um, it was a very, very pleasant to smell. Um, now is it club worthy for me? Probably not just because I'm not super into this type of floral. Um, but I think if you like florals, you should definitely pick this up. Um, it's a nice scent and I'm actually going to go ahead and pick up three bars just to keep. Um, and if I feel like having a nice fresh air floral, I'll go ahead and I'll warm it. So that was blue hyacinth. Okay. Next up we have candy crave. So this is a really pretty light blue wax and I warmed quite a bit of this. <laughs> uh, scent appeal on cold. It's an eight and a half, nine out of 10. It's just blue cotton candy. It smells wonderful. So I warmed this twice. Uh, the first time I put two cubes in my bedroom. Um, it, strength and throw was like nothing. It was non-existent. I was like, is this warmer on? And yeah, the, the wax is melted, but I couldn't smell anything. Um, so I don't even know what scent appeal on warm would be. So I was really bummed. And today I actually decided to go ahead and sniff through everything again. And I noticed it smelled a little bit stronger. So I was like, all right, you know, let's try this again. So I went ahead and I put two cubes in my um, succulent warmer in the bedroom and then two more cubes in another warmer in my bedroom on the opposite side of the room. And I actually got some scent throw out of this. It was about a light, medium to like a medium light scent um, or strength. I, it was definitely noticeable. I would walk in the room and it smelled nice. It smelled like blue cotton candy. My husband said, oh, what's in the room? It smells really good. Um, so I was kind of excited thinking, yes. So I had it in for about four hours and I went back into my bedroom and I could smell nothing again. So this seems like it's gonna be a wax where you're gonna to have to use a lot of cubes and you might get some scent throw out of it and it probably won't be very strong and it probably won't last very long. So if that's something that you are interested in, then maybe you would want to add this and try it. Um, but for me personally, that just doesn't cut it. So I will not be repurchasing this again and it will not be going in my club. And that's a bummer because it smells so good on cold but you know it is what it is all right next up we have lucky in love this is a pretty purpley pink wax ah, it's starting to come out so yeah scented peel on cold is like an eight out of ten it's just this really sweet mandarin orange and very fruity scent um it's kind of perfumey and very girly. So I went ahead and I put three cubes in my bedroom. I put two in my succulent warmer and one in the warmer across the room in my bedroom. Uh, scent appeal on warm was eight out of 10. It was fantastic again. Uh, it was just this lovely, perfumey, girly, fresh, fruity scent. Uh, strength and throw was about a medium plus to strong it was definitely noticeable I'd walk in the room and you could just smell it um, and this lasted a long time it it was at least a medium for 36 hours so is this club worthy for me yes 
and I am going to pick up about six more bars to have a little stockpile. And that is Lucky in Luck. Okay, next up we have Sweet Pea and Vanilla. And this is a pretty dark pink colored wax. Scent to peel on cold. It's like an eight and a half, nine out of 10. It smells so good. It's just this beautiful, sweet floral scent. It's very, very feminine. So I put four cubes in my open concept living room. And how did it do? Well, scent to peel was nine and a half out of 10. It actually went up. I love this. To me, it's like, Luna's younger sister. I think it's just a little bit more youthful, but it's still that very sweet floral scent. Um, very pretty, very delicate, um, but definitely strong. This was a powerhouse. It lasted and lasted and lasted at a very strong uh, scent throw. It, it was fantastic. Um, is this going to go in my club? Oh, absolutely. And I am going to pick up six more bars. Um, that was Sweet Pea and Vanilla. In fact, I like this one so much that not only is it gonna go into my quarterly club, but I'm actually gonna keep it in my uh, monthly club just to build up a little bit more of a stockpile because I wanna warm this all the time. It, it might have been one of my top twos out of this collection. I love it. Okay, next up we have Lemon Thyme Berry. And this is just a really pretty purple colored wax. Scent to peel on cold was like seven and a half out of 10. It's like fizzy strawberry lemonade. I really don't get the time when it's on cold. So I put two cubes in my living room because I knew this was gonna be strong. And scent to peel on warm, it went up, it was like a nine out of 10. It, it's fantastic. Again, that fizzy strawberry lemonade maybe a tiny little bit of time, but not a lot. Um, it was perfect. Uh, performance, it was strong. It was long lasting. I, I could smell it throughout the house, walking into the hallway. I could smell it in the front room. Um, smell it when I went into the kitchen. It was fantastic. So strength and throw, top. It, it was like strong. Uh, it lasted a long time and it's definitely gonna go into my quarterly club and I am gonna pick up six more bars to have a little stockpile. And that is Lemon Thyme Berry. Okay, next up, Honeymoon Hideaway. So this is just gorgeous, pa gorgeous packaging right here. The pretty blue with the white wax in the back. I like the white wax, I think it's pretty. Scent to peel on cold, it's like a nine out of 10. It's sophisticated. It's like fresh air meets floral meets perfume. It's just beautiful. So it's a very unique scent. Um, I put two cubes in my master bathroom and it was about a light plus to a medium scent. I could definitely smell it. It was definitely noticeable, noticeable but it wasn't strong. Um, scent to peel on warm, nine and a half out of ten it was fantastic so i was debating on okay is this club worthy or not um i think it might be because i noticed when i was smelling through these again that it smells a little bit stronger than before so i'm kind of wondering if maybe having them cure a little bit will make it stronger so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get three more bars and i am going to add it to my quarterly club and give it at least another a round to go through that and if I can get a, a solid medium performance out of this it'll stay if not then I'll let it get out of my club but I'm gonna go ahead and give this a shot because it is truly fantastic and that's honeymoon hideaway okay next up we have ocean and this is a pretty blue green colored wax Scent to peel on cold, it's a like nine out of 10. It's just, it's so beautiful. It's a relaxing, fresh air, ocean kind of a scent. And there's like a little sweet, delicate floral at the very end. It's beautiful. So I put two cubes in my master bathroom. Scent to peel on warm was a nine out of 10, I loved it. Um, 
This was about a medium strength. It wasn't super strong, but it wasn't light. It was just a nice solid medium. Um, smelled wonderful and it was long lasting. So this is gonna go into my quarterly club and I'm also gonna pick up about six more bars just to have have it stockpiled a little bit because I love this in the, in the bathroom and I've missed it. Okay, next up we have Kahiko Hula. And again, this is really beautiful packaging, bright, bright pink in the creamy yellow wax. So scent appeal on cold was like, like a seven or an eight out of 10 for me. It's just very tropical and fruity. You really get the passion fruit, you really get the papaya, a little bit of the mango. So I went and warmed three cubes in my kitchen. Scent to peel on warm went way down for me. It was like maybe a five out of 10. I don't know what happened. Um, I think when I was warming it, it just it was that punch of passion fruit and papaya, but something was missing from it. I feel like it needed something a little bit sweet to kind of round everything out and help give it some balance. Um, so yeah, it, it was a very strong performer. It was like strong and it was very long lasting, but you know, it just didn't work for my nose and what I like. So this is actually not going to go into my club and I'm not going to pick up any more bars. And that's surprising because when I first smelled it on cold, I was like, oh my God, I love it so much. So it just goes to show that sometimes things are not always the same when warmed. And that is Kahika Hula. Next up is Oodles of Orange. And it's just a really pretty creamy orange colored wax. So Scented Peel on Cold was like a seven out of 10 when I first smelled it. But the more I smell it, it's like the more I love it. It, it like keeps getting better and better. It's just very citrusy and bright and fresh and uplifting. It's a happy kind of a scent. Um, so I put two cubes in my son's bedroom and it was very strong and it was very long lasting. Scent appeal was like eight and a half out of 10 for me on warm. Again, I liked it even better warmed than I did cold. Um, so it's an outstanding performer. It was long lasting and I'm gonna definitely put this in my quarterly club and I'm gonna stock up and get about six more bars. And that is Oodles of Orange. Okay, two more. Next we have Watermelon Mint. So beautiful packaging, the pretty green and the bright pink wax in the back. So scent to peel on cold, nine out of 10. Yeah, this is like watermelon agua fresca with fresh garden mint. It is beautiful. So I put four cubes in my kitchen amongst three different warmers and scent to peel on warm was nine and a half out of 10. I loved it. Um, this was actually a pretty good performer. I would say it's a medium plus to maybe a strong light kind of a scent throw. Um, and it did last quite a while. Um, I'd say 24 hours and I could still smell it pretty well. Um, this will go into my quarterly club and I will pick up six more bars. And that is watermelon mint. And the last one we're gonna talk about today, and I'll do more tomorrow, is Summer Soleil. So this is just the most gorgeous peachy pink wax. So scent appeal on cold is like a nine out of 10 for me. It smells just so good. It's beautiful, it's tropical, it's beachy, kind of fruity. Um, you can definitely get the coconut, little tiny hints of uh, pineapple and like vanilla, it's wonderful. So. I put two cubes of this in the master bathroom and strength and throw was probably about a light plus to a soft medium. Um, it was definitely noticeable, but it wasn't super strong. Um, but this thing is a lingerer. It, it kept going and going and going. So it's kind of like, what do you do with that kind of a scent? It's, I like them a little bit stronger, but this thing, you know, it's a decent performer in the sense of it kind of stays there. So my plan is to pick up three more bars and I'm going to add it to my quarterly club at least for one round 
and I'm going to try letting it cure for a little bit longer. And if I can get a medium, a solid medium performance out of this, then I'm going to keep it in my club. And if not, then I'll just take it out. But that is Summer Soleil. I think it's worth a try, even if it can only go in my bathrooms, you know, to be able to smell it. I think it's worth it because it's such a pretty scent. So anyways, thank you for watching. Um, I will go over the other scents tomorrow. And if you have any questions, let me know. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.